You may have clicked on this video because you want to see how this new reptile channel begins. Or maybe you're just intrigued to see this beautiful, magnificent creature, the leopard. I introduce you all to the Lizzie, the leopard gecko channel. This is her tank. This leopard gecko will be the start of this channel which will grow bigger and bigger and soon introduce even new reptiles. At the end, I may even ask you what would you like to add to this tank and what we should call it. I will also leave a link down below for a channel called a Leopard Gecko. Perfect, and I learned all of this from her channel. Anyway, let's get started with the tour. To start off, we have the Gecko's tank. A fake carcass for decoration and two magnificent stones for decoration. They both weigh two pounds each, roughly. And I would actually recommend flipping the sand around them quite often, especially since geckos at first may not quite have a toilet. It's also extremely important you use rock sand. Places like Petco use soft sand. It's useless because they use they use their claws to grab on things to move themselves. So if soft sand they ain't gonna get anywhere. It's also useful because it has a lot of rocks in here, and obviously that quite makes it look. Quite natural to its desert-themed home. There's a water dish. And in her cave, I believe she is still in there. Hello, Blizzy the Leopard Gecko. We will get a better look at you in another video if you guys would like that. I hope you do. Moving on to the other side of the gecko tank, we are accompanied with a heat lamp. Which is what keeps the place warm. So, in this one specific corner, as you may have noticed, we have a lock. She just adores when she's out and about. She can't move off back to a cave. She just goes there. She's next to the carcass and the stone. We've also added just another stone for safe measures to make sure this place is a delight for our reptile. She has a toy in the corner, which apparently has to be right here, which I clean out every Wednesday. This was uploaded on a Saturday, so she has plenty of time to fill this area with poop. And on a daily basis, I love to feed my beautiful gecko some crickets. Now, guys, on this heat almost corner, I've been wondering... What would you guys like me to add to this small area? I hope you've pointed on the screen. Option A, pebbles. Option B, larger stones for her to climb on. Or option C, we leave it as it is and think of another area to improve on. Now guys, that's all for this video. And I have two upcoming videos. One will be where I feed this magnificent creature. And where we will actually get to see this creep, Blizzy, up close. It's off from me now, guys. Remember to stick around if you want to see this beauty. I'll catch you next time. But for now, bye-bye.